Alright guys, we are back. In the last episode, we didn't do too well with our first arena run, but let's see if we can bring ourselves back. We don't have too bad of a deck here. We have quite a few beasts and quite a bit of removal, but then priests are just so powerful. So let's see if we can do a little bit better here. But they have scheduled maintenance, so... Alright, versus Shaman. For Doomhammer, let the hunt begin. Not a great start. We'll keep the knife juggler, we'll throw them too. Not very good either. Well, hopefully we get a one drop here. And we don't. Greetings, traveler. The well, elements will destroy you. Oh, really? Okay. I will hunt you down. He's going to coin in here to card draw. He must not have a very good hand. Well, we will knife juggler here. Looks like turn two we will iron for a grizzly. Or turn three, sorry. Alright, he's just going to swing right in there. It's fine with we with me. He pretty much coined in just for the card draw there. So just throw down some taunt. Turn four. We'll see what he plays, but we're probably gonna kill command. No. He's got a lot of answers here. So, we'll keep that multi shot for later. Let's charge in here and do two damage. Alright, now we're on the board. We are... he has a little bit of a card advantage. Two cards, because he got that early card draw. Alright, there's a chill wind. So, what we're gonna do here... We're gonna play our Young Priestess. And we are going to kill command that. Swing in. And that'll go up to 2-2. Two, two. And now we have board presence. And next turn we have a Savannah High main. Unless he throws out two minions here, I'll multi-shot. Having two Savannah High Savannah High mains, we're looking pretty good here. All right. Well, that was a odd choice. Let's bring in hope for a taunt totem here. Nope, he gets spell power. So I'm going to take that out, because I can be very bad. I don't need the taunt yet, I don't see him having very much charge, so I'm going to throw out my high main. I'm going to destroy his spell power, because having extra spell power with a shaman is very bad. I'm going to try to keep these episodes relatively short. Probably about, uh... This is a very good multi-shot here. Probably about 15 minute episodes. That's what I'm going to do. Multi-shot, clear the board. Steady shot. And now we are very much ahead. And I have a 6-7 high main on the board. Another chill wind. And then he's hoping for a taunt totem here. Which he doesn't get. I'm gonna go for a second high main here. Just wanting to keep the board pretty clear. Alright, GG. Well, I didn't go too bad. We didn't have that great of an opening hand, but... Didn't do too bad there. Alright, let's go for the second round. We're currently 1-1. One, one. 
Also, if you would like to add me on Battle.net, I'm sure you can find me at Tanko Bear. I'll have something come up on the screen right about now. Or down in the description. That will give you my ad information. And also, you can find me on Steam at Tanko Bear. This is not a very good start. Throw them too. I want to keep that just in case I need an early Misha. And that's better. Turn one knife juggler with the coin. And turn two mad bomber. Greetings, traveler. Yep, we'll go for a turn two knife juggler here. Or turn one knife juggler, excuse me. Point into Z knife juggler. Let's see what he does here. Next turn, I'm pretty sure we're gonna mad bomber. Reporting for duty. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do here just in case. I'm gonna go ahead and swing in here. And then Mad Bomber, just in case he does two damage to my guy. That was a very good Mad Bomber. Very, very good. That hardly ever happens. So I got six damage done on turn two. He's probably going to try to throw down some kind of taunt here. Iron Fur, I'd guess. No, Patriarch, alright. Well, we'll save our big game hunter for later in the game. Um, this Iron Forge really does work for us here, though. Yeah, I'll do that. Swing in here. Next turn, I'm probably gonna summon an Animal Companion. And maybe it'll be Misha if he throws down a big creature. He might just quit here, though. On turn three, I've done nine damage. So, silence. Yep. Very good. Reporting for duty. All right. All right. Well, we got a huffer. Throw this down. I'll trade this. Go for the face. I was hoping that would hit my bomber there so it would stay alive, but sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. What you want? I mean, he's getting really desperate here. He's throwing down a bunch of taunt and a demolisher. That was not very smart. He better, if he's smart, he would throw it into the mad bomber. There you go. Alright, well, Arcane shot that. And this game. That was a good game. A damn good game. Hey, and I got 40 gold. Alright, well, that went surprisingly well, guys. Um, I'll go for one more run here. We're currently 2-1 with the Hunter build. If you're wondering what I'm using to record this, I'm using Open Broadcaster software with DxTory. You can see my previous one of my previous videos on how to live stream to Twitch with DxTory and open broadcast software. I will throw up a link here. It's a very good video, I highly recommend it. I will fight with honor. Let the hunt begin. All right, this is a pretty good start. Throw down a turn one priestess. Do you need a blessing? It's probably gonna get killed, but it's still 
turn one two damage. So. Do you need a blessing? Oh, well, there we go. Well played. Hmm. I'm not just gonna trade out here. So. I'm gonna waste an arcane shot there. Now he has a card advantage, but I have board control, so he's probably gonna coin in here. Or not. Alright, so he's just gonna hope to kill it next turn. Alright, I do not have very any beasts in my hand, so the scavenging scavenging hyena do doesn't do me any good, so let's get some board control here. Swing in for two. See what it pumps. Okay, so he's probably going to swing his recruit into the young priestess, which I wouldn't blame him for doing. I'm going to keep my swampoos just in case he gets a hammer. I think it's the true silver champion. Okay, that works too. Get another recruit. Now next turn I have to watch out for um, Blessing of Might. Alright, this could go really good or really bad. So I'm going to at least swing in there. Swing in there. Let's see what happens. Okay, I got rid of one thing. Could have been better. Um, I really want to keep both of these, so I'm just going to do two direct to him. Now he's probably going to do some kind of trick here. He's coining in, so... He's coining in for a sea giant. Well played. Alright, we really need this card draw here. Okay. I think what we're going to have to do here is just try to outrace him. Throw down our, our, our hyena and throw this into there to get him buffed. He's probably gonna put a blessing on that, but we'll see what happens. This could turn out really bad. It's gonna do 10 damage next turn, so. He's gonna take out my my hyena here and buff his ghoul. All right, he's just trying to control the board now. Knife Juggler wouldn't do us any good here. I think we'll go with the Lord of the Arena. The gates are open. Suck steel. I can't leave that on the board. Next turn we're probably gonna have to Fin Creeper. Must cleanse the sun well. All right, this is going very, very bad. Oh crap! Now I can't even arcane shot that. All right. that pops the Divine Shield. Ah, damn. Alright. He's gonna do 12 damage next turn at least. Alright, 
Well, we probably lost this one. I probably should have took care of that giant earlier. But, we'll see what happens. He's probably going to give that sea giant a blessing and just... Oh, he's going to charge. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. He's going to take me down to 1. Oh, he's not. Okay. Yeah, this might be game here. See what happens, see if he has a silence. You love my new recipe. That's game. I should have took care of that giant earlier. Alright guys, well, I'm now 2-2. This has been the Hearthstone Arena Run with Tan Colbert of Colbert Tech Repair.